Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy VM in Proxmox with Terraform. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my previous video I showed you how to deploy an LXC container using Terraform but in this video I'm going to do I'm going actually to do the same but this time instead of using of creating actually deploying an LXC we are deploying VM okay so for that we need some prerequisites okay so the first thing that you must have actually is a, actually a VM cloud init image and I showed you how to use that on my previous videos okay so here I have a Debian cloud init image or actually VM so the difference between this VM and other VMs on Proxmox is that in this cloud init image or VM we have here an option as I told you cloud init when you can set some parameters like user, password, DNS, SSH key and actually IP address so you can customize that uh, depending on your needs and regenerate an image then you have a full working VM okay so this is the first prerequisites we need cloud init image okay or VM actually in this case and then of course we need our Terraform to be installed so you can install as I told you on my previous video you can install Terraform on any operating system you like you can install it on Linux Mac OS uh, or Windows okay so here for the ease of use I have actually downloaded the the binary for Windows so as you can see here I have terraform.exec so we'll be using actually terraform here and as also I told you on my previous video in order to deploy your infrastructure as a code using Terraform you need at least a file called main.tf which contain all the necessary declaration for actually deploying your VM so here I'll be using actually another file vars.tf that will contain just the variables okay so now let's move to VS code in order to show you the content of those two files okay so this is my VS code so this is the main file here main.tf okay so here as I told you I'm using a provider here Telemate Proxmox it allows us to connect to our Proxmox instance and to deploy actually the VM okay so here I'm using 2.9.0 11 version but I guess the latest one is 2.9.14 okay and here we have the provider so of course we are connected to our Proxmox so I'm using as I told you an API keys so I showed you how to use that or how to create actually API keys in Proxmox it's pretty easy but here I'm using as I told you uh, API keys but you can use a password authentication if you want so this is the first section here Proxmox provider so we are just inputting the parameters to connect to our Proxmox instance and this is the resource section when actually you need to enter the values that you want for the deployment of your VM okay so the resource here type is Proxmox VM QEMU okay so this is very important because we want to create actually a VM remember if you want to create LXC container the resource type will be LXC okay and entity name you can just enter whatever value you want so here I just entering test server okay then we have some values so the value tree here actually here will be creating actually three VMs okay but you can switch if you want just to create one VM you can just here input one okay so here actually 
we want to create three VMs okay and here the name or the host name of our VMs so here we are using another uh, variables here count.index that start with the zero as you can see so here will be actually the name of our VMs will be Debian dash VM dot one as you can see here Debian VM dash one Debian VM dash two till it reaches three so you can create as many VMs as you want so you can see how easy it is to do that using Terraform you can even create a multitude of VMs 20 30 if you want okay then we have here the target node so here we are inputting the target node or the proxmox node name so here we are using var dot which means we'll be using actually this other file here var.tf that will contain the value of our host name or actually proxmox node name so remember this value here proxmox host you will find it in this file here var.tf so if i go to that file you can see prox host and the value is proxmox01 because mine as i will show you here the name of my node is proxmox01 so change it according to your actually proxmox settings okay here also we have another variable which is the template name so as I told you one of the prerequisites is to have a VM cloud init image so mine is name is Debian 11 cloud init so as you will see also on my proxmox so we'll be using this template here Debian 11 cloud init VM in order to create our three VMs with Terraform okay and also the last variable that we are in this file is the SSH key so this is our public key so you can generate that using PuTTY you will generate two keys one the public key will be actually installed on the VM and the private key is in your machine in order to connect to your VMs okay so that's it we uh, this file of ours.tf contains only three variables here so let's return back to our main.tf file here as I told you the clone is the template which is in our case a Debian cloud init VM okay then here the agent 0 the OS type is cloud init will be creating also a cloud init uh, VM and here we are specifying some uh, values for the settings for we are using here for example one socket two cores one CPU is the type of the host and the memory I'll be using here two gigabytes okay and those other values are the default one okay another section concerning here the desk so here I'm using the type of this is the SCSI one and those for the size is eight gigabytes okay and a very important also parameters is the name of your storage so here my storage name is storage but normally if you are using the default installation of Proxmox it will be a local or local VM so let me show you my storage in Proxmox so as you can see here the storage name is storage but actually normally it will be a local or local VM if you didn't change its name okay so make sure here to input the storage corresponding to your Proxmox settings okay and also we have a couple of other things like network model network bridge here I'm using also the default and also here we are actually assigning an IP address so I'll be using also the contact index in order to generate three IP addresses started from one to three okay so it's like uh, actually programming language count that index start from zero till it reaches the count which is in this case is actually three and finally we are inputting here the SSH keys which are as I told you in our vars.tf file okay so this long string here is our SSH public key so now we have everything in order to run actually this uh, deployment using Terraform okay so 
let's show you the folder so I have Terraform here exec file and we have our two files in the same directory okay this is very important now we are launching our terminal so we are inside the Terraform folder okay and we have as you can see our two files mine.tf and var.tf so the first command as you have seen on the previous uh, video is terraform init in order to initialize terraform so terraform init here we go it will actually uh, find the provider here we are using 2.9.11 and it's installing it okay so this is part of the initialization process and here we go terraform has been successfully initialized okay so the next value or the command actually is to create our plan or here it will give us a preview of our plan to see what we are going to deploy okay so for this plan three will be added three resources will be added zero changes and zero destroyed okay so this is also very important to take a look at this preview to see if you it really matches your need so this is our ssh key this is the settings and the host name and also you have the value for for example the clone here which is our template will be a debian 11 cloud in it okay so if everything is okay we can actually launch our deployment with the command apply as it stated in this last line here terraform apply so let's do that and see what we get apply here we go but we have to answer yes in order to approve this plan here we go so now the Proxmox is creating our three VMs. So let's go back to our Proxmox to see if something happened. And indeed you can see three VMs are now being created. So we will wait for the process to finish. Meanwhile, let's take a look at uh, the prompt here. So you can see a couple of messages from the Proxmox VM QMU that server it's still creating our tree machine so we will wait for the process to finish and actually it will start all these three machines soon okay now as you can see the machine have been started we have our three running Debian VMs that are started and you can see the final message apply complete resources three added okay so we have successfully deployed our three vms using terraform okay so one important thing here i want you to notice maybe sometime you will get some errors if you get some errors you can actually go back to your file and tweak it corresponding to your needs so me personally i encountered lot of problems actually I was using 2.9.14 as a version for the Proxmox uh, telemate provider but I get some errors so I changed it back to 2.9.11 as you can see here and also sometimes you will get a message corresponding to the agent because before I was here entering agent is equal to 1 and I will get some errors but when I change it back to zero, the message of error disappeared. So these are the two settings. Actually, there is another one corresponding to the desk. You can tweak this IO thread value from zero to one if you get some errors. Because before also, it was here one, I get some errors, but when I change it back to zero, it actually completed successfully. So there are the three main things that you can pay attention to it if you get some errors, okay? And finally, one also one of the beauty of Terraforms, here we have successfully created our tree machine, but you can also destroy them very quickly if you want using the command destroy. So if you're 
inputting this command it will destroy all three VMs very quickly so let's launch it here we go and let's return back to our proxmox and you will see that we will actually destroy our three VMs that has been created actually here I have also to uh, enter the value yes in order to proceed here we go yes and now Terraform is destroying our tree machine as you can see they have been disappeared and destroy completed resist tree resources tree has been destroyed okay so as you can see how easy it is to deploy VMs using Terraform and also how easy it is to make changes to your file because you have here what we call infrastructure as a code so only with this code here you can manage your whole infrastructure okay and it offers more flexibility and more managing processes using Terraform so that was just a brief video to show you the power of Terraform as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye